Welcome back to this third video in the series. In the last video, we looked at the search cycle and the different stages you need to work through in order to do a comprehensive literature search. In this video, we'll look at the start of that search cycle, identifying your keywords and alternative keywords. What keywords or key concepts do you want to concentrate on? A common mistake made by many students new to research is to try and search for all of their assignment title or brief, putting in too many terms to search for and either finding too many results or no results at all. Let us take this as an example assignment title or brief. How does multi-agency working help safeguarding? What are the key words, terms or concepts in this statement? Pause the video here and make a note of some of the key terms you think you would search for. Hopefully you will have picked out multi-agency and safeguarding as the key concepts or key words. That you could search for. The next step is to think about possible alternative terms or synonyms which could be used to describe the topic. Remember not everyone uses the same language. For example if we look at this one food item what do you call these? I call them buns or possibly rolls, but I'm from the northeast. You might call them something different, depending on where you come from in the UK. It might surprise you to learn that there are, are at least 18 different ways of describing this food. And here are just a few. If we were to do a search just for buns, I would potentially miss out a lot of relevant information because I haven't used the correct keyword to describe my topic. So let's go back to our assignment brief. We have identified multi-agency and safeguarding as our key terms. But how else might the literature describe these concepts? Multi-agency could be the phrase as two words, or it could be one word, multi-agency. We could also use interagency or interprofessional working. Notice that I've put speech marks or quotation marks around the phrase multi-agency and interprofessional working. Speech marks or quotation marks are a powerful search tool that can be used on most search engines, including library search. It focuses the search engine to search for the phrase, the two or more words together, rather than the, rather than the individual terms. This will make the search more specific and find more relevant results. For safeguarding, we could also search for safety, or protection, or defence. Again. Notice here that I have put a star or asterisk at the end of the term safeguard. The star is the truncation or stemming symbol and alerts the search engine to look for any words that start with safeguard. So it would find safeguard, safeguards plural, safeguarding, safeguarded, etc. You can combine your keywords to make more advanced searches using the terms AND and OR. These are often referred to as Boolean operators. AND will narrow your search as both terms need to be present in your search results. For example, multi-agency AND safeguarding. Both terms must be present. OR will broaden your search and give you more, more results. So safeguarding or protection. Either term could be used in the results. 
In this video, we've looked at identifying your keywords and alternative keywords. The next step in the search cycle is, is to decide what type of resources you want to use. What sort of reading do you want to do? Before moving on to decide where you will search and how you will do this. The next video will look at the importance of academic journals, what they are and why you would use them. After watching the short Adobe video on journals, we'll look at the different types of reading you will be expected to do at university and how you can make the most of your reading list online.